Yeah, they're classic, and they've been on these trucks for a long time. Let me just take that here. But they're big and they're bulky, and from the side, they look large and don't match these real nice lines that some artists drew and put some time into. And from the front, they make the uh, corner uh, not rounded like this. Uh, it's uh, bulky looking and heavy. And my favorite mod to an old Dodge uh, for my whole life has been to come home and take the bumper off. That looks to me so much better than that big, obtrusive, bulky, I don't want to say farm bumper in a negative way because I've been a farmer, but it's just not an attractive bumper. Um, so I love to take them off. Now my wife says, don't go build a nice truck that doesn't have any bumper. So, of course, I've had to put some nice bumpers on my own truck so that she's not uh, irritated by the fact that I just made a truck to her look like junk. But to me, it looks fantastic other than this big hitch that's hanging down really low. So that's why we build our rear bumper that looks like a roll pan, roll pan-like, but it is a actual bolt-on rear bumper. This is it sitting here. This is welded up and finished. And we threw a badge on there. That is our bottle opener badge instead of a regular badge, just customer wanted that. But otherwise, this is our, our rear bumper. It bolts on like normal, and as you can imagine, that hitch now needs to, to move up. Anytime I do one of these rear bumpers, I take a hitch like this, maybe not this one since it's a two-piece, but I take a regular hitch like this and cut it off so it fit right inside these frame rails and bolt it in there or weld it in there. I'll probably make one since a lot of people don't want to weld on the inside of the frame, but right now I don't make that, but uh, we'll probably make one that matches this bumper. Bert, let's grab this bumper, hold it up there so you can see what it looks like. This is fully welded. We offer them just as a bent tack kit or a uh, fully welded bumper like you see here or completely lined with Scorpion liner in either black or color matched. That's about where it sits. Um, I made it so that it sticks out a little bit where you don't have to align it just like a roll pan and it gives you some freedom. There's room to move it left to right a little bit. You'll want to check and see how centered your, your bed is on your frame. Maybe it's off more than you would think. When you put in something like this, you can check those gaps. Um, the, bump, the hitch obviously can come up several inches as is but there's no reason you can't notch this out very easily and bring this hitch up as high as you want. So wherever it, wherever it turns up next, let's see, I have a tape measure on my hip. So if that thing came up four inches, it'd be right there. That's actually pretty good for it. Let's pull this down. At any rate, this is our first gen rear bumper, bolt on bumper roll pan like deal. And like I said, it's fully welded. This is, non-fully welded version. Pay no mind to burp sounding like a, an earthquake over there in the corner. So we can, you can see it's bent and it has some tacks and welds that need to be done, but generally it's done for you and includes brackets that go through these tabs so that they're already centered up for your frame. And it's a pretty nice piece. Our front bumper still has almost all laser cut lines everywhere but right now we're in the process of getting it them broken so the DIY version requires a lot less welding so you don't have to deal with uh, the part changing shape so much and then grinding long spots like this that we now have bent. So there's our rear bumper kit. The front bumper is very similar and we've got some pictures of it so you'll be able to see it on the front of the truck before and after. Now I know, like I said, a lot of you guys are going to say, I like the stock bumper, and uh, I get it. Even this truck for, for Mackins, it sounds like he's choosing the stock bumper. That's great. It'll be just fine, and this truck will have a classic look, and that's what he wants. Uh, it's just not what I prefer. In fact, I prefer this by a long shot. Take that hitch off, put it up in here. The truck looks way better to me than it does with the stock, big, square, bulbous bumpers. The front bumper is even worse because this thing has lots of function in mind, but that front bumper on these trucks is just a big square thing. Again, way far off from what an artist drew. The bumpers that existed in the 70s on this same body truck, especially in a half ton, 
actually had some shape and looked good. So I've seen some of you guys use those. Those are great looking bumpers. But again, they still hide lines that are really good looking in there. So farfromstockstore.com, got your bumper kits, front and rear, DIY, fully welded or welded in line and color matched wherever you want. 